Welcome to the Philippine Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa. Here's a menu of some of our features on this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market, a mini SUV from Suzuki, the 2019 Jimny GLMT All Grip Pro, and a compact sedan from Toyota, the 2017 Corolla Altis. We'll also have a glimpse of some of the latest automobile models and concept cars from around the world. This week, we have the 2020 Land Rover Defender and the 2020 Porsche Taycan, plus a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two pickup trucks, the 2018 Toyota Hilux Conquest and the 2019 Mitsubishi Strada. Together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the recently held launch of the Isuzu D-MAX LSA on our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus and we'll be right back after this short break. Part of the 2019-2020 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph/afpca2019. Then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2019-2020 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until September 30, 2019. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards will win. You choose, you decide. Vote now. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Suzuki. The fourth generation Suzuki Jimny is here and it's made even better and bolder. We have in this car review the 1.5 liter GL manual transmission all grip pro variant. Find out more about it. Let's kick off this car review by taking a tour around the Jimny's exterior. One of the Jimny's strongest points is no doubt its exterior. The design and styling is simple and straightforward, yet it doesn't lack appeal. The square-shaped body doesn't only make the 2019 Jimny stand out among the crowd, but it also is functional. In fact, according to Suzuki, its small dimensions are already a notable edge compared to the larger off-road vehicles available in the market today. Its size also allows the Jimny to maneuver narrow mountain trails and thick forests. The front fascia is highlighted by these iconic round headlamps, which are inherited from past models. Moreover, a upright A-pillar and flat clamshell bonnet present is targeted for enhanced visibility. The molded black bumpers, wheel arch extensions, and side sills help block pebbles from scratching the car's body panels. Additionally, the angled bumper right here is also functional for off-road use. Other exterior features of the Jimny include square-shaped wheel arches for easier tire changes, door open stoppers, back door opening, drip rail, and a set of 15-inch alloy wheels painted in dark metallic gray to highlight the robust body design of the Jimny. Let's hop on in and check out the interior of our featured model. 
Everything inside the Jimny is simple and straightforward, which is very much the same with its exterior. However, it also doesn't compromise functionality. For one, the instrument panel and surrounding parts are equipped with scratch and stain resistant grain finish, while the steering wheel is wrapped in leather. Not only that, as the steering wheel in this variant utilizes circular form instead of the usual D shape used in sport type models. It also comes with audio controls. When it comes to the seats, the ones at the front are wider and taller than the usual, plus they are equipped with seat bolsters which provide firmer support at the hips. Meanwhile, the shoulder area is intentionally flat to allow the driver's body to move freely when the Jimny tilts in uneven terrain. For added convenience, the tray in the center console allows the passengers to store smaller items. Meanwhile, the accessory and USB pockets are located nearby for charging devices while traveling. Over at the back, the luggage space is flexible, so loading extra baggage wouldn't be a hassle. The infotainment system of the Jimny comes with a 9-inch touchscreen with offline GPS navigation and off-road audio guide. Let's take a look at what's under the hood of the Jimny. The Jimny GL All Grip Pro is powered by a 1.5 liter 4 cylinder K15B engine that delivers 100 PS of power and 130 Newton meters of torque, stronger at all RPMs than its predecessor. This engine is coupled with a manual transmission. Talking about safety and security features, the Jimny is equipped with Suzuki's total effective control technology, which scatters collision energy across the vehicle frame to mitigate damage to the car and passengers. In addition, it comes available with a pedestrian mitigating body, which avoids head and leg injuries in the event of a collision with a pedestrian. The Jimny All Grip Pro is also equipped with an electronic stability program that detects wheel slippage. It automatically adjusts the engine torque and brakes to suppress wheel slippage and help the driver stay in directional control. That was the 2019 Suzuki Jimny GL Manual Transmission Variant, the latest 4x4 by Suzuki Philippines, our featured vehicle in car review. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has anti-oxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph or visit Autoplus Sports Zentrium located along EDSA, across Wide Plains.
Mitsubishi Expander. Ako po si Michael Kaliwag, labing dalawang taon ng patrol crew para sa Enlex SETEX. Bilang patrol crew, handa akong marap sa anumang di nasa ang sitwasyon. Naalala ko pa noon, 2009, Bagyong Ondoy, papatrol kami sa Enlex nang may nakita kami isang pamilya na natrap sa bubong. Kahit kailangan magpatrol, nagdesisyon kami na sagatin at iligtas sila. Kami ang Enlex SETEX patrol crew, kaagapay at katuwag nyo sa mas maayos na paglalakbay. The things that make my day. My mini-me. My kind of jam. My passion. My blend of coffee. My inspiration. That's all good with the all-new Vios. My Vios. My drive. Welcome back to Auto Focus, and we now have the latest auto industry news. Burmas Auto Philippines, the official distributors of Mazda vehicles in the country, recently took members of the motoring media up north to Pampanga in Baguio for a test drive event featuring the all-new Mazda 3. We're here at the Clark International Speedway. Uh, this is the first stop of our three-day drive with the all-new Mazda 3. And it's the first time that we brought out the local specification Mazda 3 for the journalists for to try out in our local road conditions. So we have them experience the drive all the way from Manila to Clark. Then tomorrow we'll be doing Clark to Baguio and then Baguio back to Manila. The three-day media drive featured five Mazda 3 variants including the Premium and Elite Sportback, Sedan and Speed. So the all-new Mazda 3 comes in five variants. We have a 1.5-liter Elite sedan and a 1.5-liter Elite Sportback. We also have a 2-liter version of each. So that's a 2-liter Sportback and a 2-liter Premium sedan. So both of the 2 liters are in Premium class. We also have a fifth variant which we call a Mazda 3 Speed. So that one comes with original Mazda Speed body kits and a red burgundy interior to which more sporty and classy at the same time. The drive showcased the features and capabilities of the all-new Mazda 3, which centers on the concept of object of universal desire. According to BAP, they have dramatically improved the quality of the Mazda 3 in all areas such as design, dynamics, comfort, package, and safety. Additionally, the Mazda 3 is equipped with Mazda Sky Active Vehicle Architecture, which is an engineering approach to give customers an easy and pleasant driving. Mazda has always been about engineering the perfect vehicle and through their hard work we are enjoying the benefits of that hard work because right now we are driving one of the most refined cars in its class the all-new Mazda 3 feels like a car that's above its class actually it's so quiet inside so refined inside the behavior of the car on the road is so smooth so it's like buying a more expensive car without actually the penalty of the price because you probably experience the same thing in a car that's about twice or three times more expensive so that's how the Mazda 3 is for the consumers. The Mazda 3 also comes with safety features that are under Mazda's proactive safety philosophy, such as advanced smart brake support, Mazda Radar cruise control, advanced blind spot monitoring, driver monitoring, front cross traffic alert cruising and traffic support, and smart brake support rear crossing. AutoNation Group, official importers and distributors of Mercedes-Benz vehicles in the country, has officially unveiled the new CLA in a grand event held at Versus Barcade in Bonifacio Global City, Taguig. Uh, the new CLA right now goes in its second generation. The body designation is a C118. 
So we are just continuing the success of its first generation. And right now you will spec a lot more on this vehicle. From the connectivity, from the design, from the uh, functionality, it all changed a lot from the predecessor. As presented during the launching, the second-generation Mercedes-Benz CLA boasts a sleeker, sportier, and techier character, from its emotional design to the improved Mercedes-Benz user experience or the MBUX system. It's an all-new body, so it's totally new from the engine. The size is longer, it's wider. You also have created a wider wheelbase, so that creates more legroom in the interior. And of course, we are also introducing again the Freshen Up MBUX, the Mercedes-Benz user experience, which has the Hey Mercedes command. So it's like you're talking inside the vehicle, like artificial intelligence. So you're just talking to someone just with the command of the Hey Mercedes thing. Yeah. The new CLA is equipped with LED high-performance headlamps with daylight running lamps, which complements the low-slung bonnet and the diamond grille. The new narrow-designed tail lamps and the number plate housed in the bumper on the rear emphasize the width of the new CLA. The car has more presence on the road thanks to the 18-inch multi-spoke light alloy wheels. The new CLA is powered by an inline four-cylinder engine mated with a 7G DCT 7-speed dual-clutch transmission, producing an output and torque of 136 horsepower and 200 Nm of torque respectively. AutoNation Group says that these features bring the design DNA of Central Purity to a new level. I'm really excited to tell you that the new CLA doesn't have really a direct competitor right now in its segment in the market. So it's the compact coupe four-door and it's the only one right now in the segment. That's why you're very, very excited to launch this vehicle in the market. Toyota Motor Philippines has announced the full model change of the Corolla Altis. In line with the Toyota Environmental Challenge 2050, environment-friendly technology is made more accessible with the introduction of the all-new Corolla Altis 1.8 VHV variant. It is powered by a VVTi 4-cylinder inline DOHC 16-valve engine that gives out 121 horsepower and 142 Nm of torque. So now we're in the 12th generation. The major changes actually are focused on the top-of-the-line variant. As I said earlier, it now comes with a hybrid electric technology which combines the power of electric motor and a conventional engine to make a very fuel-efficient drive and it's also at the same time very low CO2 emission, which is good for Mother Earth. Having been developed under the Toyota New Global Architecture platform, both the driver and passengers are ensured with improved ride experience through a quiet cabin, thanks to the sound insulation. Interior, we have 7-inch multi-information display. We have also changed the dashboard and the panel. For the leather seats, it's also improved. And then for the top-of-the-line variant, it comes with 8-way power adjust support and a lumbar support system as well. The all-new Corolla Altis also provides reassuring sense of security with safety features incorporated in the overall development of the vehicle. According to Toyota, the all-new Corolla Altis marks another milestone to the company's history as the model is the first in its lineup to feature three of Toyota's latest technologies in one variant, such as Toyota New Global Architecture, Toyota Safety Sense, and Hybrid Technology. So this uh, 1.8 uh, variant comes with our Toyota Safety Sense, which offers five cool safety features. It has pre-collision system, dynamic radar cruise control, lane departure alert, lane tracing alert, and also automatic high beam. Audi Philippines has rolled out the all-new Audi A6 limousine in a grand event held at the Manila Polo Club. As presented, the exterior of the all-new A6 stands out with its balanced proportions, visually shorter overhangs, athletically taut surfaces, sharply defined edges, and striking lines. In front, a wide low-set single-frame grille, powerfully drawn air inlets, matrix LED headlights, and daytime running lights emphasize the sedan's sporty character. The all-new A6 measures 4,939 meters long. 1,886 meters wide and just 1,457 meters high. We are proud to say that the Audi A6 is the widest in its class. Of course, the roomiest as well. It comes with a 2-liter TFSI engine, which is a mild hybrid, which is again first in its class. 
Meanwhile, a technical black panel design dominates the interior of the all new A6. The newly developed seats underline the character of the A6 as a supreme long distance sedan. The design of the seat cushion and backrest provides a high level of comfort and good lateral support. The Audi A6 is much roomier this time. It's equipped also with a four zone air conditioning system, so passengers at the rear could control also the system in the front. It also comes with a band all of and sound system, Audi smartphone, all the technology that is tech savvy for these days. The all-new A6 is powered by a 2.0-liter TFSI turbocharged four-cylinder petrol with mild hybrid engine technology made into a seven-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. It is capable of producing 245 horsepower and 370 newton meters of torque. The key features are now the Audi A6 is being a mild hybrid engine and supported by a 12-volt battery system to save fuel to run electric system of the vehicle as well. It also comes with a twin MMI touch systems technology that has passed under by the Audi A8 and of course our other flagship, the Audi Q8 as well. The Audi Audi A6 is now available in all Audi showrooms. The first ever interclub swap meet recently took place at the MetLife Phase 2 parking building, providing a venue for car owners and enthusiasts to sell, swap or trade anything out of their trunk. The first MetLife Toyota Manila Bay Interclub Swap Meet is a venue in which where individual car owners, vendors, manufacturers can come over, display and sell, swap whatever spare parts you have and all your wares. The event is the first of many to foster camaraderie among the members of clubs who will be taking part, namely Vios Club Philippines, JDM Underground, WRX SDI Club, Donut Shop, Club MR2, Classic Toyota Club Philippines, Toyota Auto Club Philippines, Vios Online, Grupo Toyota, and Altis Club Philippines. Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine, takes another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. Ah, the things that make my day. My mini-me, my kind of jam, my passion, my blend of coffee, My inspiration. That's all good with the all new Vios. My Vios, my drive. Motoring Today is now on the web. Watch this episode or other past episodes of the country's longest running motoring program any time of the day by logging on to our website, motoringtoday.ph. Motoring Today is now online. Just the click away. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. Part of the 2019-2020 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph/afpca2019. Then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2019-2020 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until September 30, 2019. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards will win. You choose, you decide. Vote now. Mitsubishi Expander.
Welcome back to this edition of Autofocus, the country's premier automobile TV and online magazine. Here's head to head, our feature to feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category. What we have in this head to head are two pickup trucks that have become staple nameplates for car enthusiasts. Both of them have been in the market for decades and decades. We're talking about none other than the Toyota Hilux Conquest and the Mitsubishi Strada. Watch as we have them face each other in this edition of Head to Head. Here we have the Toyota Hilux Conquest 4x4 NT and the Mitsubishi Strada GT 4-wheel drive AT variants. Let's start with the two pickup trucks' respective engines. Under the hood of the Hilux Conquest is a 2.8-liter diesel engine that produces 177 PS of power and 450 Nm of torque. These healthy figures are coupled with a 4-wheel drive system and a 6-speed manual transmission. When it comes to handling, Toyota made a few tweaks to the Hilux Conquest suspension to improve the riding experience, though it still uses the old double wishbone at the front and leaf spring at the rear. Nevertheless, the handling has improved and it provides a smooth ride. Meanwhile, the Strat is powered with a 2.4-liter DOHE diesel engine that is capable of giving out 181 PS of power and 430 Nm of torque, and is mated to a 6-speed automatic transmission. The latest generation Strata features a smarter Super Select 4-wheel drive or Easy Select 4-wheel drive system which allows the driver to switch the driving mode depending on the roads the car will take on. For the suspension of the Strata, Mitsubishi did special tuning to it as well. It is made up of an independent double wishbone and coil spring and stabilizers at the front for our variant here. However, for the rear suspension, which has been tweaked, all Strata variants feature a rigid, elliptic leaf spring with telescopic shock absorber. This layout delivers better handling and ride comfort and is also capable of holding more oil because of the dampers. Let's proceed to the exteriors of the two pickup trucks. Basically, design and styling-wise, we feature them in this edition of Head to Head, for they are both large SUVs, though they also have their differences, of course. One of the selling points of the Hilux Conquest is its bolder look. Aside from its grille design and sports bar, the LED headlights with daytime running lights, bed liner, and front bumper provide the Hilux Conquest a more commanding presence. Add the 18-inch alloy wheels and the Hilux Conquest is ready to take on the road. On the other hand, the Strata also takes pride on its exterior design. Highlighting the front fascia is a high-engine hood line and beefier-looking lamps. Additionally, the headlamps are side-by-side -side with the daytime running lights. Also present in the front bumper are the fog lights and turn signals. Moreover, the Strada also powers through the road with 18-inch alloy wheels. It's time to hop on in the interior of the Hilux Conquest and the Strada. Inside the Hilux Conquest, the premium black trim defines its bold look, plus the fabric material that wraps the seats. Since it is a standard 5-seater, it offers enough space at the back for 3 people. For added convenience, the Hilux Conquest is equipped with automatic climate control with rear vents, hydraulic steering and tilt steering column, push start button, and power windows. When it comes to the infotainment system, the Hilux Conquest comes with a 6.5 inch capacitive touchscreen and comes with 6 speakers and is available through Bluetooth, USB, and AUX connectivity. As you go inside the Strata, you will be greeted with a tough look as well. You can also find soft pad materials and stitching on the floor console, armrests, and parking brake. The seats are also wrapped in leather, providing comfort, but what catches anyone's attention is the compartment that serves as a mobile tray, a helpful feature if you need a place to store your mobile phones while traveling. In addition, at the back of the center console, you'll find a similar compartment, complete with new USB ports. More about convenience, the Strata is equipped with an air circulator that absorbs air from the front air vents, then transfers it to the back. For the infotainment of the Strata, it comes with a touchscreen display system that is available in AM, FM, Bluetooth, and USB connectivity. Sound is enjoyable through six speakers. When it comes to safety features, the Hilux Conquest is equipped with the necessary features such as hill start assist, anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution, and six airbags among other standard safety features. 
The pickup also guarantees security as it has a keyless entry feature. It is also equipped with central locking, an alarm, and an immobilizer. For the Strata, it is equipped with advanced technological features such as advanced safety features like forward collision mitigation, blind spot warning with lane assist, rear cross traffic alert, and ultrasonic mass acceleration mitigation system, among others. Those are the Toyota Hilux Conquest and the Mitsubishi Strada. Two pickup trucks that come close but not quite. Our featured vehicles here on Head to Head. More about the automobile here in Autofocus as we usher in our segment featuring the autos of the world. Spotlighting concept cars as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobile models from around the world. For exciting viewing in this edition of your Automobile Electronic Magazine, we have the 2020 Land Rover Defender. Let's watch this. The new Land Rover Defender, an icon reimagined for the 21st century, is clever, capable, and safe for all the family and in a category of its own. Across seven decades of pioneering innovation, Land Rovers have earned a unique place in the hearts of explorers, humanitarian agencies, and adventurous families across the world. Proven in the harshest environments on Earth, the new Defender maintains its bloodline. The new Defender is built for adventurous hearts and curious minds, for those who know the value of community and strive to make a difference. It looks tough and is tough, but is designed with purpose and engineered to excite. Iconic in name, shape, and capability, the Defender can be personalized to allow owners to make the most of their world. Besides the peerless luxury and refinement of the Range Rover family and the highly capable and versatile Discovery SUVs, the new Defender completes the Land Rover dynasty. The 110 is just the start for this family of the most capable and durable 4x4s in the world. It will be swiftly followed by a compact, short wheelbase 90 before a pair of practical commercial models join the lineup in 2020. The new Land Rover Defender redefines breadth of capability. All-terrain ability is beyond question. On-road comfort adds to its character. A maximum payload of up to 900 kilograms, static roof load of up to 300 kilograms, dynamic roof load of 168 kilograms, towing capacity of 3,720 kilograms, and weighting depth of up to 900 millimeters combined to make the new Defender the ultimate 4x4 for overland adventures. The functional, durable, and flexible interior is unique with exposed structural elements and a central front jump seat, perfect for sharing adventures with the family. The Defender 110 is available with 5 plus 2 seating and 4 distinct accessory packs. Explorer, Adventure, Country, and Urban. And with 170 individual accessories, we'll be joined by a smaller Defender 90 and versatile and durable commercial models. The 2020 Defender has the inner strength necessary to make great things happen. The champion of those with the courage to provide help where others dare not or cannot go. Land Rover aims to continue long-term humanitarian partnership with the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies, or IFRC, with the Defender at the heart of it. NLEX Viaje Tips presents Healthy Road Trip. It's time for that much-awaited vacation, but here are a few things to watch out for. Sitting for long periods of time can form blood clots in your body like in the legs. To avoid that, stop for a quick break, get up, and move around to get your blood pumping. Car air conditioners speed up dehydration, so make sure to drink water frequently. Lastly, while driving, Protect your eyes from the sun by wearing UV-blocking sunglasses. 
And for a smoother trip up north, you can now drive all the way to your destination with one RFID. Get your Easy Trip RFID sticker now. Be it fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Illustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Illustrado restaurant, which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Illustrado restaurant, only for the foodies. Welcome back to Autofocus. Our special feature is next. The Isuzu D-MAX has been in the market for 16 long years. This 2019, Isuzu Philippines brought in the latest iteration of the popular pickup, the LSA. We have for you the highlights of the recent unveiling of the said newcomer here on Special Feature. Watch this. The all-new Isuzu D-MAX LSA recently arrived in the Philippines, infused with functional features that address the demands of a market that is all about hard work and play, business with leisure. According to Isuzu, the LSA represents nearly a century of the company's experience and innovation from the design, engineering, and all the way down to the worksmanship of diesel-powered utility vehicles. Isuzu Philippines President Haji Mikoso in his speech highlighted that the LSA was initially introduced in 2003 and has sold more than 46,000 units so far. Let's take a look at the design and styling, powertrain and safety and security features of the new LSA. The new D-MAX LSA is powered by a 4JJ1 TCX 3.0 liter 4-cylinder inline blue power diesel engine with VGS turbo intercooler that generates 177 PS of power and 380 Nm of torque. Initially available in 4x4 variant, Isuzu said it will also be offered in 4x2 variants in the coming months. Both variants will have an option for either 6-speed automatic transmission with sequential shift or the 6-speed manual transmission with gear shift indicator. Boasting modern exterior styling, the D-MAX LSA has a very dark gray front grille and bumper coupled with sidestep board and rocker panel, cargo extender and roof rails. We decided to upgrade the D-MAX to be able to satisfy the needs of the new market of the D-MAX. So uh, we decided to make it more aggressive, more dynamic by adding a dark grey accent on the exterior. So if you notice, everything looks black and darker outside. So starting with the grill, it's now dark grey. We have added black garnishes on the hood, on the bumper, on the headlamp and even on the pug lamp, they all now have the black garnishes. For occupant comfort and convenience, the D-MAX LSA is equipped with the Auto Climate Control Air Conditioning System, Passive Entry Push Start Stop System, 12-volt accessory socket, 3 USB charging ports, 15 storage compartments, and 10 cup holders. Isuzu Philippines President Koso said that the new Isuzu D-MAX LSA joins the ranks of premium pickups with a stylish yet functional design and competitive pricing without compromising the D-MAX's core value of being tough enough for anything. Aside from its new look, new Isuzu D-MAX LSA also has competitive pricing which range from 1.32 million to 1.7 million to be able to compete to the very demanding pickup market in the country today.
That was all about the grand launching of the new Isuzu D-MAX LSA. Our special feature for this week. We hope you enjoy. And up next is another exciting feature in autos of the world. This time around, the 2020 Porsche Taycan. Let's watch this. Porsche introduces its first fully electric sports car, the Taycan, to the public with a spectacular world premiere held simultaneously in Germany, Canada, and China. The Porsche Taycan is a four-door sports saloon offering typical Porsche performance and connectivity with everyday usability. At the same time, highly advanced production methods and features of the Taycan are setting new standards in the fields of sustainability and digitalization. The first models in the new series are the Taycan Turbo S and Taycan Turbo. They are at the cutting edge of Porsche e-performance and are among the most powerful production models that the sports car manufacturer currently has in its product range. The first derivative to be added will be the Taycan Cross Turismo. At the end of next year and by 2022, Porsche will have invested more than 6 billion euros in electromobility. The flagship Turbo S version of the Taycan can generate up to 560 kilowatts over boost power in combination with launch control and the Taycan Turbo up to 500 kilowatts. The Taycan Turbo S accelerates from 0 to 100 km per hour in 2.8 seconds, while the Taycan Turbo completes its sprint in 3.2 seconds. The Turbo S has a range of up to 412 km and the Turbo a range of up to 450 km. The top speed of both all-wheel drive models is 260 km per hour. The Taycan is the first production vehicle with a system voltage of 800 volts instead of the usual 400 volts for electric cars. This is a particular advantage for the Taycan drivers on the road. In just over 5 minutes, the battery can be recharged using direct current from the high power charging network for a range of up to 100 km. The charging time for 5 to 80% SOC is 22.5 minutes for charging under ideal conditions, and the maximum charging power is 270 kilowatts. The overall capacity of the Performance Battery Plus is 93.4 kilowatts per hour. Taycan drivers can comfortably charge their cars with up to 11 kilowatts of alternating current at home. The things that make my day. My mini-me. My kind of jam. My passion. My blend of coffee. My inspiration. That's all good with the all-new Vios. My Vios. My drive. Part of the 2019-2020 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph slash AFPCA2019. Then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2019-2020 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until September 30, 2019. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards will win. You choose, you decide. Vote now. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven-seater in style. All-new El Tiga. Debut.
Welcome back! We have more cars for you to know and appreciate here in Autofocus as we have our second car review this week. The Toyota Corolla Altis has been in the local market for 50 years now. Hence, it is among the nameplates that have become familiar to the public over the years. In this car review, we shall take a look at what it offers. Right off the bat, the exterior of the Toyota Corolla Altis exudes a sporty vibe, which is a must in a compact sedan. Let's start with the front fascia. The front bumper features a larger central air dam and neat cutouts for the fog lamps. The variant that we have here, which is the 2.0 VAVT, is the only one that gets to have a two-lamp LED and gun metallic rib with auto leveling, which further frames the sports grille, while the 1.6 variants come with four lamp halogens. On the side, subtle character lines surround the Corolla Altis. Toyota also added rain-sensing wipers to this variant, while the other ones get the standard wipers. Also for the 2.0 VAVT variant, 17-inch alloy wheels are present, which add to the character of the car as it powers through the road. Meanwhile, the rest of the variants come with 16-inch alloy wheels. Overall, the exterior of the Corolla Altis is one that is bold and straightforward, while also maintaining elegance. Let's now take a tour inside the Corolla Altis. Inside, the all-black interior that is complemented with blue lighting and chrome accents will be the first thing you would notice, plus the sports leather upholstery which is only available in the 2.0 VAVT variant, as the rest of the variants only get fabric. When it comes to the seats, the driver's seat in this variant is available with power, 8-way configuration, while the rest come with reclining, sliding, and vertical height drive adjust. For added convenience, the Corolla Altis comes with features that ensure the convenience and comfort of the passengers, such as an automatic climate control system, power steering, power door locks, power windows, and power mirrors, among others. Additionally, for entertainment and navigation purposes, the Corolla Altis is equipped with a 4.2-inch color display that comes with a smartphone mirror link and is available in USB and aux connectivity, which is now a big plus point in cars in its segment. Sound is enjoyable through six speakers. When it comes to safety and security, all variants of the Corolla Altis are equipped with features that ensure a safe ride for the driver and passengers. It comes equipped with various active and passive safety features such as cruise control, vehicle stability control, anti-lock brakes, parking sensors, and seven airbags. Moreover, the variant we have here is powered by a 2.0 V-liter dual VVTi engine that delivers 145 PS of power and 187 newton meters of torque, and is mated to a 7-speed continuously variable transmission. Smooth handling and quieter cabin is managed by a McPherson strut at the front and a torsion beam at the rear. Simple, straightforward, yet it manages to do its job. The latest generation Toyota Corolla Altis. Hi, this is Sydney, and today we're going to be talking about brakes. Car brakes are pretty are simple enough to understand. Step on the pedal, car stops. Not much science, right? The reason it works that way is because modern braking works so flawlessly, everybody literally takes it for granted. Those things that you hear in the news that, oh, bumanga, sumemplang, dal nawala ng preno, that's not true. That almost never happens. Even on a clunky Jeep, if there is brake fluid in there somewhere, that Jeep will stop. So there's no such thing as you lose brakes. No, that's not true. And on all cars now, you have a set of these. This brake, I'll dispel the first myth. Brakes do not stop your car, no. Tires stop your car, brakes slow your car down. But tires are the ones that do the stopping. That's myth number one. Myth number two, disc brakes are better than drum brakes. Loaded question, but generally, no. <laughs> they work exactly the same way 
and actually in some instances drum brakes are actually better that's why you will still see majority of the cars here have disc brakes in the front drum brakes at the back even the newer ones like the Nissan Terra has still drum brakes at the back because it works it's efficient and it's almost foolproof <laughs> alright myth number three nangangalawang yung preno ko eh normal ba yun? yes it's very normal the material that your brake disc is made from is cast iron. It has to be cast iron because once this metal gets hot, it becomes somewhat malleable and ductile, which causes it to grip the brake pad even more. So it's somewhat sticky in metal terms. It cannot be stainless steel, it cannot be aluminum, it cannot be plastic, it cannot be brass, and it definitely cannot be gold. So yes, if it's iron or bakal, mangangalawang yan, and that's perfectly normal. So this is what your stock disc brake looks like flat pancake looking frisbee thing what you'll see most in people put is something like this same size as stock but has dimples sometimes holes has these slots these are referred to as racing brake rotors now the big question will my car stop better if i put this as opposed to this one the honest answer if you're just driving along metro manila no your car will not stop faster because you have this it will look better but no, it will not reduce your stopping distance in any way. So why bother do you have stuff like this? Well, as the name implies, racing brake discs. This comes into play once you do actual racing. With the slots and the dimples, this is a bit cooler. You will not brake any better because you have this, but it will allow you to stay on the race course longer by a lap, maybe two laps, and that's important in racing. Before your brake starts to fade and you have to go back to the pits, this is where this comes in. It cools down faster in, an, in a racing environment, but it will also come to a point that it will not cool down no more if you abuse the car too much. So once that happens, your brakes will start to fade, you will start to lose brakes, then that means, okay, time to stop, time to go to the pit, cool down. These are actually the other equation of braking. And if you do want better braking, easiest and fastest is just, just change one of these things. The brake pads. They're cheap enough, they're plentiful enough, and they're pretty easy to do. You have a set of tools, a couple of friends, you can do this in one afternoon. So we have here different brake pad sizes, and it does not take a genius to see which can brake better. Obviously, the big brake pad versus the small brake pad. And this is where the third part of the equation comes in, the brake caliper. <laughs> this is your brake pad. This wears down. Its job is to keep wearing down. This is a friction material. This one presses along the disc here, both sides. If you don't have your foot on the pedal, it's slightly gapped like that. But once you press it, it will press down. Then it will cause this to slow down. This gets worn out over time. And the easiest way to see if it needs changing, you just simply take a look at it. You can see through your wheels and through the brake pads. If it goes down to this line, then yeah, time to change. And as this goes down, as it wears down, you will feel your brake pedal get deeper and deeper and deeper. When you change to a fresh set of pads, your brake pedal automatically becomes firm again, just like magic. Now, you can buy several different brands of this one. There's, of course, OEM, there's replacement, there's Japanese replacement, there's Korean replacement, there's brand name performance brake pads. So which should you buy? Get whatever you can afford. It's come to a point that there's no such thing as a bad brake pad. All of them will stop your car. It's just that if you want something better, then you go for the brake pad brands that are known for performance, like Brembo is one that does OEM pads. EBC is another one. Hawk is another one. They have a different compound here that once it reaches operating temperature, allows it to grip the brake this more, causing you to slow down faster. Note I said slowing down, not stop. This is what actually applies the force from your foot down to the brakes itself. You can see these are the two brake pads here. That's the brake disc in there. So this will squeeze down on the brake disc once you press the pedal. This is a four piston caliper. Why is it four? Because there are literally four pistons here. So it's just one, two, three, four. There's four cylinders here. Your normal car has one, maybe two pistons at the most. That's it. This is a big brake setup. 
Why is it bigger? It's bigger than this standard rotor that's supposed to be for this Civic. And the way that it works, very simple. Physics. The longer the distance here, this is basically a lever. The longer the distance, the more force you can generate by applying it on the end. So this is it. That's how big brakes work in essence. And then another myth that is proliferating has to do with big wheels. Why do all these supercars have big wheels that everybody wants to emulate? It's because the need to house bigger brakes. It's not just because it looks nice and has more grip. No, they have big wheels to house big brakes. That's the only reason why supercars have big wheels. And on a final note, I always like to say, you can have too much power, but you can never have too much braking. So when do you want to upgrade your brakes? Oh, trust me, you will know the time counts. You will have one or two close calls. It will say, that, oh, I should need to upgrade my brakes already. So there, now you have a better understanding of how your car brakes works and is it worth upgrading the brakes or not? Now you know. And that's Autofocus this week. On behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, we hope you have found this edition of your Automobile Electronic Magazine informative as well as entertaining. You can also check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. Until the next time, this has been Ray Louis Gamboa.